Hi, welcome to my quick guide on using a pair of Sonos speakers with your PC, Mac or games console like a PlayStation or an Xbox. Um, this isn't officially supported by Sonos. They have this statement on their website about using their kit with you know this kind of configuration with a PC and with newer speakers like an ERA 100, you know, they're talking about a minimum signal and process delay of 75 milliseconds which is kind of you're going to notice that if you're watching Netflix or playing Call of Duty you know things are just not going to feel right but in the configuration I put together I've got it when I basically don't think there's any delay whatsoever so I just thought I'd share what I'd done. So what you're going to need you're going to need a, son a pair of Sonos speakers uh, with uh, Ethernet and line output capability. You're going to need a PC, sorry, a TV or monitor with line out, um, a line out cable. And I would also, although I do say it's optional here, I would have them all connected locally on a, on a local hub. But you yeah, obviously can connect straight to your home router as well. That's an option. So what does it look like when you plug it all together? Well, you have your you know devices of choice, whether it's a PlayStation, a Mac PC, plugged into your monitor on HDMI, DisplayPort, or USB-C. Um, you can have the line-out cable connected from your monitor to one of the line-out adapters which you plug into your Sonos speaker. I mean, some of the older speakers didn't need the adapters, but the newer ones do. Um, you can just buy the line in adapter without the Ethernet port as well, but I think I'll come on to it in the end. But I think you're going to need to have the line, the combo adapter, line in and Ethernet. So the line out goes to one of the two Sonos speakers, and then both of those speakers are connected with a LAN cable into a local hub. Um, and then that hub obviously could be connected to your you know local router you could said so that hub was optional but i'm trying to keep all the traffic as local as possible between the two speakers to minimize that signal delay so this is what i've done to get this working so what does it look like um well the first thing you do just check the settings in the sonos app um you want to make sure and you do this when you go on the sonos app pull up those speakers Go on to the settings, go to the line input settings, uh, and you'll see this is just make sure it's set to low. It says 75 milliseconds, and um, that's what again what Sonos officially support. And the only thing as well is I would make sure you've got autoplay for line input as well. It just means you don't have to keep manually selecting that input source on the Sonos app every time you want to hear whatever's coming out your PC, Mac, or PlayStation. It's just automatic and it works really, really well in my experience. Um, so here is a quick demo. I mean, this isn't the best video in the world, but this is me pointing my you know smartphone at my monitor, and you can see the speakers there. So this is where the sounds coming out. Uh, so I'm just going to click this for ten or fifteen seconds. So it's hard to tell, I guess, but you can see from the point that the gun fires, there's no delay with the sound registering at the same time. And that's my experience when I've been using this and playing with it. When I'm watching movies on Netflix, again, I've put it on the bullet point there, but I don't experience any desync. You know, the sound and the video don't look like they're out of sync with each other. And I'm very kind of, I find that really distressing when it happens when I see it and I spot it straight away from watching a movie I can always tell if the voices that was sync with the video and that I can't when I've got this configuration so it does seem to work for me. So closing thoughts I mean I've tested this with a pair of year round 100s I don't know if it works with other kit or their older kit you could connect the ears over wi-fi I have had mine connected over wi-fi I do think you get more desync there's more signal delay when you connect on Wi-Fi. And I've also found that I get a lot more interference as well. It's using Bluetooth at that point to connect to the other speaker. I'm in a highly congested 2.4 gigahertz area, lots of competing Wi-Fi networks, and I just 
never had any luck with it worked some days and other days it didn't which is why i recommend having everything cabled um, this isn't exactly the cheapest solution in the world if you want to pay PCs because you can do this uh, a lot cheaper using other alternative methods but if you've got Sonos kit and you're using your Sonos kit in the room where you've got your PC or your PlayStation then it makes an option. I mean these combo adapters aren't cheap, They're basically £40 each, you need two of them so that's 80 quid. Um, and you're going to need a TV or monitor with line out. You know, if you haven't got one of them, then you are looking at some kind of HDMI splitter to split the audio out from the video and tap in to the line output that way. But I've never tested that. Um, and I'll say it again, you know, make sure you've got autoplay enabled because it just works. Then you turn things on, you plug them in, you play your game, you play your movie, line input automatically kicks in on the speakers. Uh, and then you can adjust the sound from, you know, either your PC or your Mac or the volume sliders on the ears if you want. I hope you found this useful. It works for me. I hope you have uh, the luck as well getting this working for you.